Breathe. All right, let's do this. <laughs> all right, all of us first. Let's go. All of us first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Look at the earth. Look at the earth. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is psych. Insane. Okay, I got a few things to do. All right. First for you. Camera Pierce. Dude, look at the earth, just look outside. Oh my god. We're in space. Dude, we're in space. Man is happy about the India with pride. India to space. India to space. Woohoo! Hey there! Eight, seven, six, five, four, command engine start, two, one, zero. Ignition. All right, as we go through this flight, there are a couple of milestones here. The first one will be uh, max Q. That's when the dynamic pressures uh, are the highest on the vehicle. We go from 100% power, pull it back a little bit as we go through max Q, and then ramp her back up to 100%. Max G should be in about 10 seconds. Max Q has been confirmed. Again, thank you everybody for joining us for New Shepard's 25th mission to space. So far, a nominal flight. We have gone through Max Q. 100,000 feet. And the vehicle will continue to climb under full power of the BE-3 engine. The next milestone will be main engine cutoff. You will know when that happens when you see the glow of the engine at the base of the rocket go dim. Miko. There we go, main engine cutoff confirmed. Passing 200,000 feet. Now with the main engine cut off, with the BE3 U, excuse me, the BE3 engine turned off, the vehicle continues to climb up towards its apogee, but as you will see on the left side, the speedometer will come down, and once that speedometer hits zero, that's when you know exactly that the vehicle has hit uh, apogee, its highest altitude in, uh, in the flight of the vehicle. Now I understand that separation of the capsule from the booster has been confirmed. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, all of us first. Let's go. All of us first. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God! Wow! Woo! Look at the earth! Look at the earth! Oh, oh man! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. Oh. This is psych. Insane. Okay, I got a few things oh. to do. All right. First for you, Camera Pierce. 
Dude, look at the earth, just look outside. Oh my God. Where's face? Dude, where's face? Man is happy, but the India with pride. India to space. India to space. Woohoo! Hey there! All right, you see the, the, excuse me, the booster that is headed down. You see the drag fins, the drag brakes that have just deployed. Those cut the speed of the booster in half. Also at the top of the rocket there, you see uh, the forward fins. They kind of look like pie slices, one on each quadrant. That helps keep the vehicle stable. And there we go, BE3 engine relight. Landing gear deployed. 50 feet, 8 feet per second. Touch up. Auto sound started. And touchdown. Welcome home, New Shepard. What a beautiful flight to space and back for that booster. But the show is not over. The crew capsule has deployed its, uh, its guide parachutes and its mains. Everything looking nominal on today's flight. Uh, looks like we do have two parachutes that have full inflation. The third is not quite fully in, uh, inflated. But actually, Jackie, this is... Um, this is part of the design. We, one of the, in fact, the we were talking about my first webcast. The first webcast that we did, we actually we tested a shoot out. There are multiple redundant uh, factors in this uh, in this system, and so landing with two parachutes is perfectly okay for this system. You'll also see the dust take out of the base of the uh, of the capsule as she comes in to land. That is the air cushioning system. It's going to kick up a lot of that West Texas dust you just talked about. But it also, there it is, touchdown of the crew capsule. A beautiful flight for our rocket, for our crew capsule, for our six new astronauts, Mason, Sylvain, Ken, Carol, Gopi, and Ed. You are officially astronauts. Welcome home, everybody.